Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the SCAR. It's my next gun in the road to Damascus, so we're going to go ahead and look at my class setup. I made the gun a little bit quicker today. I mean, I decided to go with a uh, Forge Tech CQB, 5mm uh, watt laser, commando foregrip, and stipple grip tape with a monolithic suppressor. Figured I'm going to be running around a lot um, while I'm playing shipment and stuff like that. So hopefully I can complete this today. I only have about not too many more challenges to go and then I'm done with it so let's go ahead and uh, get right into it anyways now that Cold War Alpha has finally been announced they decided they were gonna go with the only PS4 so that's that's great you know Xbox players and PC players won't get the chance to play the Alpha like everybody else I don't know why they're catering PS4 so much but I feel like um, an Alpha should be at least released you know a week later for us but I know the beta is gonna be like that but still think it's pretty lame they're not gonna let everybody play the alpha hopefully the game doesn't turn into turn into black ops 4 again we, we do not want another black ops 4 I did not enjoy playing that so Other than the alpha being announced, we haven't really gotten any new news for Cold War this week, but I mean, we saw the first couple minutes of uh, campaign footage, and it looks pretty good, but it's the campaign, so everything looks good, good in the campaign. I mean, every Call of Duty looks good, like, with the campaign, but then we get shit like Advanced Warfare and fucking Infinite Warfare. We don't want that again. I mean, back to sniping in Cold War. I mean, that shit looks really, really good right now. And All right, we're not going to talk about that. From what I've watched, if they keep it the same, that might be close to, close to Black Ops 2 sniping because that looked really good. I mean, anything's better than this year because, I mean, if you're using anything other than the car and the um, MK2, not a chance you're hitting a clip, man. I mean, the AX-50, like, on a good day, maybe you'll hit a quad feed, but nothing more. I mean, hopefully the snipers stay the same and they don't nerf the shit out of them like they did in other CODs, but we'll see. I almost feel like uh, Call of Duty's against the whole quick scoping and sniping community as a whole. It's, it's kind of ridiculous how they've been treating it. Dude just ate a whole fucking rocket to the face and didn't give up. I mean, for this year's Call of Duty, I mean, I feel like it's actually a pretty good game. Like, this one ranks pretty highly on the list for me, but as far as sniping, I don't know, man. It hasn't really felt the same. I mean, I didn't play much Black Ops 4, but from what I saw... The sniping was a little bit better than this. The aim in speed is just so gross this year. It just they kind of killed it, you know. One thing I am disappointed about this year's Call of Duty is they didn't bring back the intervention. We had all of those leaks back in uh, back in February and March, and they never came back. It was it's pretty sad. Everybody was a little bit hyped about it, but. End up getting the Rye Tech, which is holy shit, dude! I haven't even used that gun much. Cause you can't even aim in with that thing. Like, like look at this shit, dude! Like, I don't even want to level this thing up, dude. It takes, like, look at this. It takes like a whole two seconds to aim in. Like, I feel like I could try to team kill with this gun, and I wouldn't be able to get a shot off before my teammate. Under like, my teammate would realize what's going on before I'm able to get a shot off. You fucking bag. <laughs> yeah. Reloading. Right side. And uh Man is fucking clueless. My brother. Russian Gulag. 
All right, well, at least I got a halfway decent gameplay for you guys today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully Cold War is better than this game, and I'll see you guys in the next one.